Taylor with the Nation. Oh my God, it's spooky season, bro. And you all know that your girl is the spookiest hollow queen in all of Miami-Dade County. What is the meaning of this? What? Can't a Halloween girly thrive? This? <laughs> this is what you think Halloween is? Um, yeah, bro. Like, you know, spooky, scary. Skeleton? Send shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. Okay, if you're so into scary, what are your favorite scary movies? Halloween. Town. The Disney Channel original movie. And, um, you know, the one with Freddy. Prince Jr., Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. <laughs> oh, The Nightmare. Before Christmas. Okay, that is a classic, but not scary. At all. This is just my favorite time of year when I can be my true, eerie, creepy, spooky, scary self. My culture is not a costume. You don't get to claim a whole holiday just because you're Gothzilla, okay? You don't see me gatekeeping National Unicorn Day. April 9th. Your definition of spooky is lighting a Bath and Body Works candle that smells like pumpkin pancakes. I'm summoning spirits and you're out here summoning basic fall vibes. Hold up. Which Bath & Body Works has pumpkin pancake bath bombs? Is it the one at Dayland or International? Is this supposed to help you protect yourself from the thin veil between the living and the dead this time of year? A choice. How did this cute ghost die? On the teacups at Disney World? Were these the pumpkins you sacrificed for your many, many pumpkin spice lattes? Congrats, you've racked up so many Spirit Halloween rewards points that you can buy your very own abandoned Sears. Whatever, bro. These decorations are a certified graveyard smash. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you ever walked through a graveyard? Oh no. There's like dead people buried there. Mm, what do you think skeletons are? Did you know that there's a skeleton inside of your body right now? No, bro. Don't tell me that. No, stop it. Stop it, skeleton Aritza. Gross, bro. Get me out of here. <sighs> yeah, okay. You're a legit spooky Halloween girly. Ho oh, ho, you proved me wrong. Oh, just because you have the hots for ese feo tremendo, the creep keeper, doesn't mean that we have to celebrate Halloween the same way. You can keep him and his three pelitos. This is the difference between you and me. You embody darkness and crave the night, but I add sparkle to the fright. Everything about you is so monochromatic. Why you gotta be so dramatic? While you are morbid from head to toe, I like my Halloween to be cute, bro. Like when I hear spooky, I think Snoopy instead of things that are dark and droopy. When some ghosts can be super but super friendly, why must Halloween always be so deadly? Smiling calabazas, happy bats, and whatever this is, I'm the reason why Michaels and Home Goods stays in business. Well, let me tell you what Halloween actually means to me. Oh, Halloween, the night that calls through fog and veil as darkness falls. The shadows stretch, the spirits crack like whispers painted eggshell black. No costume selfies, no pumpkin spice delight, just footsteps echoing in the dead of night. My heart, it beats with excitement and dread, knowing El Pukui is under my bed. If we step outside, the night air descends. Or is it El Sereno, like Abuela says? Children without sweaters must beware, for it creeps in silence, leaving them in despair. So come, take my hand, step into the glue, where bats take flight and ravens loom. For Halloween, dear Prima, is more than it seems. It's a haunting, a nightmare, a gothic dream. What are you guys even 
talking about? Have you forgotten what Halloween is about? It's about dressing up like a psychopath and collecting loads of candy and staying up late watching scary movies that you're way too young for and eating a lot of candy and then having nightmares for two weeks straight because of the candy and the scary movies. Well, she does have a point or something. Thank <laughs> you.